because it's the right way. Hello. One, two, three, four. Five, and welcome to Braze Beat. Hey, I'm Mark Lodenko. And I'm Garrett Lindberg. Hey, Mark, since it's a Valentine's Day themed episode, I was wondering, do you have a Valentine? I do. I've got my queen right here. The Braves boys basketball team stormed back in a fourth quarter comeback, but fell short to Deer Park. Great effort, boys. And thanks as always to Braves Nation for coming out strong. Let's try to get an even bigger crowd at the boys basketball senior night game at home at 7.30 tomorrow night versus Wyoming. There will also be a bake sale and fundraiser to raise money for ALS research and to support people in our community. Come support this great cause. The girls' basketball team went to Wyoming and came away with a hard-fought victory 41-30, to becoming CHL champions. Great job. They have a playoff game versus Woodward at Walnut Hills High School tonight at 7.30. Come out and support the Lady Braves. The Braves wrestled to a third-place finish at the 16-team regional state team tournament. The next events are Senior Recognition Night, which will take place on Friday during the basketball game. On Saturday, February 16th at 9 a.m., Wyoming hosts the CHL Wrestling Championship. Be sure to come out and support our defending champions. The Indian Hill men's swim team scored another victory after their CHL win last week. They went back to back at the Ohio Southwest Sectional Championship and came out in first place. The Indian Hill women were coming off the terrific second place finish at the CHL Championships and they had another great performance at the sectional championships, finishing second place. Great job to both teams. The dive team went to sectionals last weekend as well. Lexi Magenheim put an exclamation point on her amazing IHHS career with a third consecutive sectional championship performance. Great job. Ethan Morris also came ready to compete, racking up an impressive 319 points to take third at the podium. Valentine's Day is today, so let's look at what's brewing down in the halls of Indian Hill High School. What are you doing for Valentine's Day? Are you photosynthesizing? Because you're the light of my life. That's terrible. Do you know what's under my hat? No. My love for you. <laughs> Do you have a special Valentine? You. You. Oh, why, thank you. Mr. DeBink, Valentine's Day is coming up. And I just got to say, my love for you is starting to get physical. <laughs> call, call an ambulance. Are you okay? How are you feeling? Are you in pain? Because uh, you must be in a lot of pain when you fell right out of heaven. What's the psychology of love? The psychology of love is actually passionate love, which is different than companionate love. So it's a hallmark holiday for passionate love, which in essence is like puppy dog love, where companionate love is like the long-lasting, long-term love that doesn't need just one day of the year to be celebrated. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Congratulations to Big Money Meech for continuing his academic and football legacy at West Virginia State University. We wish you, Meech, the best of luck. The cheer squad ventured down to Walt Disney World this past weekend for the UCA National High School Cheerleading Championship. They competed and got to enjoy some time at the surrounding parks at Disney. They also finished top 15 in the nation for both of their performances. Great job, girls. Congratulations to the Indoor Indian Hill High School Track Club. This past weekend, they competed at the prestigious Ohio State University meet. Several personal records were ran and a couple school records were broken. Make sure to congratulate the Braves in the hallway. They head to Oberlin College on the 23rd to break some more records. Good luck, Braves. Dr. Miles, our beloved superintendent, announced his retirement last week. So let's jump into an interview with him and Luke Johnson. Hey there, everybody. I'm Luke Johnson here with your superintendent, Dr. Miles. And uh, recently, we've gotten news that he'll be resigning at the end of this year. Uh, how did you come to your decision to resign here at IH? Well, uh, after a lot of soul searching, uh, I'm getting ready to become the superintendent of the Rockwood School District in suburban St. Louis. What would you like to tell our viewers about your time here at Indian Hill? Oh, wow, I could say so much. The, the past seven years have simply been a dream come true. Uh, academically, there's no better group of students. And on the stage, as you look at the performing arts, as you look at the visual arts, our students are so fantastic. I'm going to miss them uh, immensely. 
Well, I just want to say thank you to our students, our staff members, parents, and community members. Again, it's been a dream come true to serve as your superintendent of schools for the past seven years. Thank you, Dr. Miles, for all your contributions to Indian Hill. We really, we really appreciate what you've done for us. There will be a Relay for Life information meeting on Thursday, February 21st during MP to learn how you can make a difference. Relay for Life is a fundraising event to help raise money for awareness for cancer, and this year Indian Hill will be hosting it. There will be activities, music, food, and more. Contact Ms. Kuhn with any questions. Best of luck to our black, blue, red, and gray mock trial teams who will be competing at regionals tomorrow. Good luck, Braves. We have another school community service project coming up with La Soup. On February 20th, students will be helped chopping, bagging, and prepping snack bags and casseroles. The goal is to prepare 1,920 meal bags that will serve over 7,700 meals to the hungry in our community. That's all we have for this week. Be sure to come to the basketball game tomorrow. And as always, stay, stay classy, classy in Indian Hill. Hill. Ladies and gentlemen, today is a special day. I am here to announce my signing, my official signing to play competitive Minecraft at Harvard University. Drew, uh, I gotta say, it's been an honor and a privilege getting to be your Minecraft coach. You know, we spent many countless nights, long nights, <laughs> in our rooms, not talking to anybody. Mining away. My name is... Hey, da, 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 da. And I'd like to thank the entire school for supporting my decision to play competitive Minecraft at the Harvard Community University. You have the chance to meet Ninja or God. Who are you meeting? You're out of the shot. This is an unanswerable question. You're asking if I want to meet God or God. Tyler Blevins or God? Who the, who's Tyler Blevins? Sorry, Ninja, Ninja, Ninja. Thank you. Never mind, never mind.